Hello, I'm back. So again, welcome to my channel. This is Iyakin0604 na muling magtuturo sa inyo. So ang ating topic for today is about composing clear and coherent sentences using the perfect tenses of verbs. So on the first part, I have discussed about the uh, simple tenses of verbs and also the second one is the progressive tense of verbs uh, wherein it is the ing form of the verb so what is the difference of the two uh, of perfect tenses of verbs to do to those uh, i've discussed before okay Next. composing clear and coherent co sentences using the perfect tenses of verbs so let's find out okay so i will read first the three examples number one I have finished answering all the activities since yesterday okay number two the pandemic had happened after the Taal volcano erupted number three we shall have seen the Taal volcano with our relatives by the end of this pandemic okay so Let's see. So here, the underlined word is I have uh, have finished rather. Number two, had happened. And number three, shall have seen. So how, what have you noticed uh, to the, on the three of these examples? Okay. The underlined verb in each sentence is in perfect tense. Why? The perfect tense of the verb shows an action already completed. The word perfect literally means made complete or completely done. Meaning, it is tapos na. No? Ibig sabihin ng perfect tense, made complete, natapos na, completely done. Okay? So, nagawa na siya. Or nangyari na. The perfect tense of the verb is formed by the appropriate tense of the verb to have plus the past participle of the verb. So, later on, makikita natin, ano ba yung sinasabi dyan past participle? Ano ba yung sinasabi dyan na uh, appropriate tense of the verb and then plus the past participle? Okay. The present perfect tense shows an action that begins in some past time and continuously happening in the present time. Ibig sabihin, na, na, nangyari na siya before and then nagko-continuous siya hanggang sa ngayon. The auxiliary verb has or have is used, is used together with the past participle of the verb. So, yung progressive kasi, the plus ing form of the verb, the auxiliary na, di ba, is, am, was, where, okay? Plus the ing form of the verb. Dito naman, has and have plus the past participle of the verb. Ang ibig sabihin ng past participle of the verb, yun yung parang past, uh, uh, iba po yung sa ano, yung, yung may mga en, en, okay? The time expressions commonly used to denote such action or condition are since plus ta the time reference and for plus the time reference. Ito po yung sa mga time expression. The word since and then the word for plus the time reference. Okay, let's see the example. The lady has worn her face mask since she entered the bank. So, the time expression is since she entered the bank. Kasi kanina nga, di ba, sabi nga sa, uh, uh, in denoting the time expression, since or for plus the, uh, these words, okay? Plus the time reference, okay? And then, the underlined word is has worn. So, has plus the past participle. Ano yung uh, verb nitong word na yan? Where? Okay? W-E-R. Sinuot. Okay? So, later on, matidiscuss pa natin yung mga examples na may past participle. Again, sa, pre, uh, sa perfect tense of verb, has and have plus the past participle of the verb. Itong has word, yung word na yan is the past participle of where? W-E-R. Okay? Has is for singular subject plus word, past participle of where, ito yung sabi ko, is used to indicate the present perfect tense. Yun lang po yung alalahanin natin. Has and have plus past participle of the verb is 
in perfect tense of verb. Next, the lady. Lady kasi is singular, kaya ang ginamit ay uh, ha, is, has. Okay? Kapag plural po, ang gagamitin mo naman ay have. The children have stayed. Bakit have? Kasi children is plural of the singular child. Okay? And then, have stayed. The stayed is the verb. Okay? It's the past participle of the word stay. Okay? Kasi meron tayong tinatawag na regular and irregular verb, di ba? So, dun po malalaman yung, the, yung past participle nila. The children have stayed home for almost a year. Ito po kanina since ang ginamit dito for. So, yung time expression plus time preference. Yun po yung sa ibig sabihin ng time expression. Ibig sabihin kasi, uh, again, perfect tense, almost complete, and then continuously happening. The past perfect tense shows an action that has been completed before another past action has begun. It shows which of the two past actions happened first. The auxiliary verb had together with the past participle of the verb is used to state the first actions whereas the past form of the verb is used to state the second past action. So, let, tignan natin yung exact para mas maintindihan natin. The doctor had seen her swab test result before she came. Okay? The first action, had seen. Past participle of see is seen. Okay? Had. Ibig sabihin ng had, nangyari na. Then, had. Okay? Is used to indicate the past perfect tense. Second action, came. Past form of come. So, kasi dito sa sentence na to, katul hindi katulad kanina, doon sa time expression, hindi mo naman makikita, wala kang makikita past tense ng verb. Dito po sa example na to, meron kang makikita past tense ng verb which is came. Kaya po, in second action, meron tayong came. Kaya po, nilagay dito ay had, hindi has. Okay? Di ba pag singular yung, uh, yung subject, has plus past participle of the verb, dito, had. Kasi ibig sabihin ng had, the past tense of has and have. Since na, meron siyang second action sa time expression which is came, kaya had plus the past participle of see, then had seen ang ginamit dyan. And then, napag po sa past, pag naman po sa future perfect tense, ito po past, uh, past perfect tense. Yung kanina, present perfect. Kapag naman po nakalagay po siya sa future perfect tense, shows an action that started in the past to be completed in some future time. To be completed. Nangyari na pero magpapatuloy pa sa hinaharap. Okay? Kaya po may nakalagay po dyan na word na will. ba? Diba? Kapag tayo ay in future tense, lagi tayong may will or shall. So, will and shall plus has or have plus the past participle of the verb. Example, my mother will have known her health status by tomorrow morning. Again, sa ating time expression, we don't have any past tense dyan, kaya hindi tayo gagamit ng had. So, it's either has or have plus past participle of the verb. Since ito naman, press a future perfect, kaya meron tayong, bago mag-have or has, meron tayong will. Okay? Makikita mo naman sa time expression, di ba? By tomorrow morning. Okay? Mangyayari pa lang bukas. Ito naman po, we shall have given mom more time to rest by this week. So, this week pa lang. Kaya po tayo may will. Tandaan ha? Will and shall ay makikita mo sa time expression kasi kung mangyayari pa lang siya. Yan yung uh, clue natin, yung time expression. Kung ano yung gagamitin natin, um, kung ano yung gagamitin natin tense, it's either perfect, uh, future perfect tense, past perfect tense, and then the present perfect tense. Tandaan lang, in time expression, kapag ka completed, da, completed na, pero nangyayari pa lang ulit, uh, i-continue, 
ay uh, ano siya, future perfect tense siya. Pag naman meron dito sa second, meron sa time expression ng second action, nasa past siya. So, had ang gagamitin nyo, hindi has or have, and then the past participle of the. Okay. So, those are the examples of the present uh, perfect tense or the perfect tenses of verbs. So, now, uh, kailangan maging familiar po kayo sa mga past participle ng mga verb na yan para alam nyo kung paano nyo, kung ano po yung gagamitin ninyo. Okay? Hindi basta-basta uh, gagawa lang kayo ng sarili nyong version ng past participle ng mga verbs. So, these are some examples of the verbs and then their past participle. So, here, become, become, hindi na iba, break, broken, bring, brought, buy, bought, do, done, draw, drawn, drink, drunk, eat, eaten, feel, felt, find, found, go, gone, have, had, hear, heard, keep, kept, read, re read, uh, same is, uh, spelling pero iba po yung basa ng past participle or the past tense, read. Run, run, say, said, see, seen, teach, thought, write, written. So, there are words na magkapareho lang po si verb at saka si past participle, like, uh, especially if it's um, regular verbs. But, some irregular verbs changes in, in spelling. So, meron din po siyang um, some of them ends in en. Okay, like, ite. Okay? So, yan po yung examples. So, mag-research pa kayo ng mas marami para mas maging familiar kayo sa about sa past participle ng verbs na yon. Again, in, uh, in perfect tenses, had, has, or have, or had, pag sa past tense, plus the verb, and then Plus the, past, plus the past participle of the verb. Again, has or have and had plus past participle of the verb. And then, always see the time expression for you na makita mo kung ano yung gagamitin mo. Kung perfect future ba yan, kung present perfect, or um, past perfect. Okay? So, in order for us to be familiarized and para mas malaman natin, magamay natin, yung pinag-aralan natin ngayon. Let's see uh, the example. Okay. So, you will circle out the time expression and back the verb used in each sentence. And then, ano siya? Example ba siya ng past perfect or present perfect or future perfect? Okay? Let's try. So, ito po. By the age of 16, I shall have grown more mature. Okay? So, our, ano, our verb is, ito po, may shall. Shall have grown more mature. And then, by the age of 16, yan naman po yung ati, ano, yan ang ati, verb. Ang verb natin, shall have grown and then, our time expression is by the age of 16. And it is under future perfect. Future perfect siya kasi meron siyang shall. No? Yun yung tingnan natin. I can surely will have landed her first job by the age of 22. Again, this from will have, will have, will have landed, yan po ang ating verb. Ibabax yung verb, di ba? And then, our our time expression, again, by the age of 22. Again, meron siyang will, so it is future perfect. Next, he has finished watching the game for a couple of hours now. So, again, our verb is has finished. Okay, has or have kasi, di ba? Has finished and then, or has finished watching. Ayan, has finished watching. Pwede mo na rin buuin yan kung gusto mo. Has finished watching the game. And then, yung time expression since May 4 siya for a couple of hours. 
so has finish so we have the has and then uh, the past participle of the verb so we have its present perfect okay since wala naman po tayo another action dito sa ating time expression next po she had read the book before she lent it to me yan tingnan mo ha tingnan mabuti uh, what is the verb there so the verb there is had read the book so we have the word had ah clue na yan then what is our time expression before she lent it to me okay so we have here verb read diba and we have another verb lent so meaning we have the first action and we have the second action so it falls under past perfect okay in fact in past perfect because we have the second action here in the in the second uh, in the time expression and then may clue na rin po had kapag nakita mo may had yan past perfect na yan okay okay so that's it so uh, kung medyo magulo pa rin po ng kaunti you can comment down below and then I will uh, try to answer your questions there and let's see if I can make another loop for another video kapag ka tungkol po dito sa uh, present tense of or perfect tenses of verbs okay so dito naman po again tandaan lang yung uh, in perfect tenses, we have the has, have, plus past participle. Kapag may nakita ka na ng will have, it's, ano po, uh, ibig sabihin, future perfect na yan. Pag nakakita ka naman ng had, it is in past perfect. Kapag has or have, plus past participle, nandun siya sa present perfect. So, yun na po yung tatandaan natin dyan. And then, be familiar Uh, be familiar po or familiar, familiarize yourself sa uh, tungkol po sa mga past participle of the verb. So, yun naman po sa ngayon. If hindi ka pa po nakasubscribe sa aking channel, uh, subscribe na para updated ka rin sa lahat ng mga uh, videos na i-upload ko tungkol po sa mga subjects sa school, especially grade 6 students para po magka, maka, ano ka, makakuha naman ng kaunting kaalaman po sa akin at ma-share ko kung ano yung nalalaman ko din, um, click the notification bell para lagi ka-updated sa lahat ng videos na i-upload ko. Yun po muna sa ngayon. Bye-bye!